post moves. She's got an impressive mid-range game, and she's going to be a force to be reckoned with for Jacksonville. Bobby Ray is your referee, your umpires, Thurman Legs, and Judith Diehouse were underway and in the Kelly Green. Here comes Jacksonville, the four-court working goal left, Michaela Edwards. Man-to-man -man opening with a little switch for EKU. Both of these teams turn the other over a lot. And we've got a foul with a little, excuse me, hand check right out of the gate. Got to adjust to whether it's a tight whistle or not. And that was about as tight as you'll get. Yeah, you know, Reconati got that foul. She leads Eastern with 104 assists. So she needs to be on the floor today for the Colonels. Plays a lot of minutes, does Reconati. 34.9, a game 60th in the country. Dunlap, that it inside, easy shot to the goal for their second leading scorer of the year, Shania Jackson out of Warner Robins, Georgia. And the Dolphins all out on top 2-0. This game moved from Thursday night, noontime tip-off. A lot of students from the laboratory school here as EKU turns it over. Hacker tried to feed it inside. They're their leading scorer, Walker, and they've turned it over. So a lot of elementary students in the house and middle school students good atmosphere for a noontime game in richmond kentucky jackson on the baseline crosses it over to the right and the three drilled by Jalissa dunlap that's her 19th three of the year and it's five nothing dolphins and nearly another turnover eku alarm clock hadn't gone off seven nothing jacksonville unless they miss it they do the first time Second time put back up in by Deshari Graham. Veteran coach Greg Todd lets him play on in a 7-0 hole. They've been really, has EKU sloppy with the basketball here. Jacksonville in a 2-2-1 three-quarter court press and then dropping 2-3 out of that. They lead the conference in turnovers forced in margin. Mackins, who played at North Florida in the same city, and off the right wing to open the Colonel scoring account is Danielle Rainey with the three. She's a transfer from Florida, can really fill it up if she gets going. 166-3 of her career. Played two minutes. Jacksonville, 7-3, forcing two turnovers. This is Graham. Inside to Edwards, no. Rebound, Walker, who leads the Colonels. Long pass, forecourt, Hacker, and they call a charge on her. Wow. Let's watch that one again. Well, they got a long outlet pass to Hacker, and uh, <laughs> I don't think that was a set defensive player right there. But we don't count, Greg. Well, they don't give us whistles. So the foul whistled on Hacker for first. Crossover dribbled to the lane, Graham. Nothing there. Out to Edwards. Patience. Eight on the shot clock. Found a wide open player in the post. Jackson. She missed the left handed chippy. 7 3 Dolphins. Three off the wing. Will not fall for Rainey, who hit her first. JU cleans the boards and will set up three minutes in, up 7 3. Little horn set here from Jacksonville. Baston finds a 10-footer in the lane and knocks it down over Walker. Baston, who leads them at 15.1, second inside Asum play at 13.7. And she, like EKU's Walker, top rebounder and score season long, 9-3, Dolphins. She's got a little brace on her right hand. Keep an eye on that today. There's Mackins, who started her career, played at North Florida, good feed to the baseline, Reconati. Nothing there for Walker. Three will not go. Hacker and Jacksonville has cleaned the boards again. They've out-rebounded EKU 3-2. They're four of seven from the field. EKU's one of four. Feed down to the big girl inside. Jackson tried to throw it through the lane. Good anticipation. Tip away by Rainey to force the turnover. 9-3 Dolphins. We play four minutes at Alumni Coliseum. Mackins a skip pass. Reconati, leading assist player, corner left, Rainey. And second turnover, that one on a bad throw by Reconati, 
And another layup off a Colonel turnover for the Dolphins. And Seraphine Baston has four. And Jacksonville to its biggest lead at eight. And EKU has been turnover prone. More turnovers than points until now as Mackins hits a right wing three. Mackins can light it up too. She's just been with the Colonels for a few weeks and uh, already showing her impact. EKU third in the conference, 33rd in the nation, and threes made a game. 8.2, Racconati beat. And scooting to the goal for the lay-in, Baston, who has six. Baston's best, 21 against Ole Miss. They played a tough non-conference schedule. Fire inside, good block on the layup attempt by Walker. It's a big one is defense, and they're down 13-6 with the wall. And Mackins to trigger as we get back to action. Yeah, and it's hard to set your defense when you have live ball turnovers. That's what Eastern has had so far. Jacksonville switches up now, and they're going man-to-man -man for the first time today. Racadani, sophomore from Italy, stops at a dime in the lane and hits from 12. Racadani, who averages 9.5. Fourth on the team. Well, she played off the two feet that time and got her balance before she went up for that shot. Bastard, who has six into the lane, tipped away. She tried to force it through the lane, batted away Walker. And in the drive, off the turnover, Rainey scores. Good low post defense. And all of a sudden, once down eight, EKU on a 7-2 to two run within three. Rainey really athletic, got out on the break right there. Got in front of the defense and made a nice finish. Good handoff to Kishina. He shot a Brown who had come in out of the timeout. And the Augusta, Georgia player got her first two. She's the valedictorian of TW Josie High School back in her senior year. The team back up by five, never behind, up as many as eight. Jacksonville right back in that zone. They've done a good job keeping Walker out of the offense. Good feed, Mackins low, and now the recoil into the lane to Walker. She's so good, mid medium range, and one of the top scorers in the nation opens her scoring account there with her first two. Yeah, she did a good job finding the seam in that zone, flash to the high post elbow. Jacksonville, seven of 11 from the field, EKU five of eight. Offense beating defense. EKU in the man to man. A little flex action here by Jacksonville. By flex, you mean? Uh, there would be a baseline cut followed by a down screen. Three on ball, each, no. On each ball reversal. Yep, Jackson missed it. Here comes Eastern Kentucky down three. Chance to tie. Reconati passes up with three. Zone here this time. Fox is in for EKU Mackins to tie it. Yes, out of the left corner. A great ball movement that time. They got the ball to the elbow again and a nice skip pass over to the weak side corner for the shot. How about Mackins today? Two for two from three. EKU four for six on trifectus. Trying to answer out of the right corner and doing it off the bench. Keishana Brown. She has five, six for Baston, two for Graham, three for Dunlap, two for Jackson. Everybody in the scoring party. 18-15 Jacksonville. Colonels will have to Find Brown. She leads the team in three point percentage. Good look at a corner three. Swish it down for Danielle Rainey. How about her start? Has eight or average third on the team at 12.6. Well, we got a horse game going right here. Tied at 18. These two teams shooting well. EKU now four of six from deep. It's kept him in this game. Mackins has hit two, Rainey has hit two. And a little hand check foul on Mackins. Got to adjust to the whistle here from one official. It's been the same official. All three tight calls on EKU, one at charge, two on hand check defense. Greg Todd bringing Kalissa Lacey into the game, the sophomore from Charleston, West Virginia, George Washington High School, physical therapy major. Also, rushing in is Ari Kirkwood out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Transferred from Warhead State, where Greg Todd used to be the head coach. Tied at 18. Graham back in for Jacksonville. Now Edwards. And an offensive foul. Was it an illegal screen that you saw? Illegal screen there on Edwards. 
That's her first. So the first chance for Eastern Kentucky, who fell down 7-0 and 11-3 to get back into the game. They tied it at 15. We're tied for the second time at 18 now. After it was 11-3, Jacksonville, Eastern Kentucky, on a 12-4 run. Reconati at the point. Baseline lob, Rainey got it into the corner to the new player in Kirkwood, back to Rainey, and could not rein that three in. And they brought the tallest player off the bench and in, and Benny Lindu out of the Congo. She played 18 minutes at, against Bellarmine. Before that, her entire career, she had played 32 minutes. Drive to the lane, shot partially blocked, shot by Baston, no good. And the first lead of the day, Chance missed on a wide open layup. And then a palming coming out off the miss by Kirkwood. So EKU blows the layup. And Jacksonville in transition gives it right back. There you see it. Yeah, you might, was you might think that was a result of that, that brace on her hand right there. She didn't control her first dribble and the ball got up above her head. Well, Kirkwood won't have an easier shot than that the whole day. Atkins into Walker. Drives the lane, got around the big defender, and at 44 seconds of the first half, Eastern Kentucky has its first lead, 20 to 18, as Walker saw the path and scored her fourth. High scoring first quarter. EKU by two after being down by eight at 11 to three, now 2018. Ball deflected by Mackins, but it falls to Edwards. Nice switch inside, and Lindu ties it. Tough to defend the 6-6 setter, and Lindu gets her first two. Well, she did a good job working for post position. That pass was just right across the lane. Easy finish. Shot out of the corner, no good near the buzzer. Offensive rebound. Mackins got it from Reconati, and will go to the end of the first 10, tied at 12. Jacksonville even better overall. 9 of 15, 60% to a three from three. EKU's out-rebounded the Dolphins by one. Colonels made four turnovers, Jacksonville three, but those four turnovers in the first five minutes, none the last five minutes, they came from eight down. We open the second, Jacksonville opens in a zone, and they shoot them out of it with a Kalisa Lacey three. Those threes that are falling for East are now five out of nine. That's going to open up that middle for Walker to work inside. And you'll see, you'll see, have to see uh, how long Jacksonville will stay in that zone. Lacey's 33rd three, tenth in the A Sun. At the top of EKU's chart, Mackins hit two today and 37 on the year. Foul by Mackins as they got a mismatch inside her second foul. Got it into Shania Jackson out of Warner Robins, Georgia. Second leading score, but the top score in A Sun play. Nice feed to her there. Yeah, they drove, drew the defense, and then Jackson with a nice cut right down the lane. So with Mackins with two personal fouls at 9-17 of quarter two, what do you do here? That one circled the wagon and off the orange iron. No good. One more for Jackson, who is not a you – know, she's a really good foul shooter. 87% back on target there to make it a two-point EKU lead. Bad pass by Kirkwood at half court. First turnover in about six minutes. Good defense, Lacey, because knifing to the goal was Deshari Graham for what would have been a layup. I think Kirkwood's gonna check out. She was real, or is she? Nope, gonna keep her on the court. Gotta take Mackins out because of two fouls, but the way Kirkwood has handled the ball, She's going to get a seat on the bench, and Bridget Fox out of Altoona, Pennsylvania, played at Detroit Mercy for coming to Eastern Kentucky. Here is Dunlap. Round left, Graham, Dunlap. Deep three. No good from beyond the Cali line. Offensive rebound, Edwards. Stolen, Reconati. Fourth turnover of the day for the Dolphins, who are down two. And Eastern Kentucky gets it a jump ball, and the possession arrow will denude the chance at another turnover forced by Jackson. But we told you these two teams come in, EKU's third in 
the A Sun, 32nd in the country. There's Greg Todd, the veteran coach, second year at EKU, started his career just down the road at Berea High School, and then went to Lexington Catholic, on to Transylvania Moorhead, now back to his alma mater, replacing Chrissy Roberts, who is unsuccessful, former Colonel player. Eastern showing a little 2 3 zone themselves right here. Dolphins down two after being up eight. Trying to tie it from the foul line off to the right. No good Jackson. EKU clears. Eight and a half first half. Here comes their star, Walker, averaging a double-double. Out to Lacey. She's hit one. And the Colonels have missed their last two. They're down five of ten from three. 33% on the year. 50 today so far for the lead. That thuds off the backboard, missed by Edwards, and the jump ball will go to Eastern Kentucky. I thought Fox got by with a walk right there before the uh, tie up. Let's look and see. Well, I think yeah. she kept that yeah, pivot. Maybe she did. Down. Maybe she did. I'll take your whistle away from you. Yeah, that's okay. One zero oh for one. Eight oh four. First half. Twenty three twenty one. EKU tied at twenty after one. In a game of three ties and one lead switch. This is Fox. Fox dribbling right of the lane. Good defense on her. Outlet is Rainey, who's had eight early. Danielle Rainey, a little crossover dribble. Look over Lacey, another turnover EKU. They're seventh. For the tie, layup good. Tied at 23 on the drive off the turnover by Jackson, who has five. The Colonels are going to have to clean up the live ball turnovers because that's really hurting. Jacksonville is really good in transition. Four turnovers, one lead switch. Uh, four ties, one lead switch at EKU. Seven turnovers made five in the first five minutes, none in the last half of the first quarter. Come out in the first two and a half here, and they're error prone again. Yeah, when you get ahead of the defense, you don't necessarily have it beat. Jacksonville with good back pursuit right there in the back tip. EKU averages... Five and a half threes, uh, turnovers a game, and they tried to double-team Walker as she drove the lane and drew the foul. She's trying to get into the lane and get her little mid-range jump shot. A little out of control and got bailed out with that foul. Two tosses for Walker from the foul line this year, 57 of 76. Fourth most free throws taken. You look at Walker. 10th in the country in double-double, 17th in field goal attempts, 8th in field goal makes, 67th in field goal percentage, 10th in points scored, 25th in rebounds per game, 36th in steals, 28th in steals per game, and Toinette Walker. Yeah, she does a little bit of everything for the Colonels. And Coach Todd has said when she came from Marquette, he really didn't realize just how good she was. She's really worked at a game, too, to make it better and learn from, she said, every coach she's coached under. Started a little rock, then Marquette now here. Going out with a bang. 25-23 chance for the lead, but Graham can't hit the three. Jacksonville going cold of late. They are now two of eight after a good start. Two of three, missed their last five threes. EKU by two. Hacker back in, starter, drives, scoops, scores. Wow, that was a great finish there by Hacker. Didn't look like she had a lot of daylight. Use that right hand, kind of scoop under the defense, get it up on the board. Eastern Kentucky, since they were down 11-3, to have gone on a 24-12 lead run, and they lead by four. Deep three to try to slice it down. Will go with an offensive rebound off the Graham miss by Edwards. Another miss three. They missed seven in a row. That one... By Dunlap, who's hit one today. Reconati speeds to forecourt. Rainey has had a good day. Continues it. She's to double figures with 11 and three threes today for Danielle Rainey, who's four of six overall and three for five from three. She was feeling it. I watched yesterday's practice, and she was lighting it up. And a timeout. To head coach Darnan, EKU going shooting gallery at the county fair against him. Yeah, you wonder how long Jacksonville's going to do that. With, I guess they're respecting Walker so much that they're taking their chances from the three-point line, but it hasn't paid off so far. Baston circled to the lane but couldn't get it off, so she'll recoil it. 
Now off to Edwards at the line. Rakodani closing out defensively. Back to Baston. Shot clock down to four. She got a nice screen off Edwards. And Baston breaks the scoring drought. She has eight. Her first field goal to this quarter. That's her bread and butter. She is really quick and can get to the rim. 30-25 Eastern Kentucky. It was 20-20 at the end of one. Rakodani one hands it over to Rainey. She's had the hot hand. Can't get that one to go. She had followed her shot quicker. She may have gotten a rebound, but Delena Gilliard, who's into the game, Texas A&M Corpus Christi transfer out of Daytona Beach, Florida, race the rebound down. Rakodani tried to slide under player she was guarding Brown and picks up her second foul. Mackens has been on the bench with two fouls. They kind of looped the pass there. Really was blocked out. It looked like the offensive player kind of cleared her with her elbow. Two tough calls on Rainey today. Or I, uh, on Reconati, I should say. So two fouls on Reconati. Second coming at 504. Greg Todd, the second year head coach, the EKU grad, will have to w work on his bench because Mackins is there with two as well. Baston trying to create, clear it out to Dunlap. Both these teams have short benches. Graham drives, put it up, no. Rebound cleared by the leading rebounder, Walker. Second in the A Sun. She'll drive in transition, miss. That's her money shot, mid range. Couldn't get that one to go. Crossover dribble, Baston. Finds Graham on the wing. Yes. Nice kick out right there. Baston knows where her teammates are and did a good job finding it right there. 29th three-point shot of the year for Graham. That leads, and all of a sudden, as Mackins back in with two fouls, misses, but it turns into an offensive rebound put back for Rainey, who's had her 43rd double-figure game of her career and the 13th of the season to stop a 5-0 JU run, make it 32-28. Well, that was great anticipation right there. She beat everybody to the ball. Baston, again, left wing, good look at it, wouldn't go for Graham, Hurdles outlet it, one-on-one, -on -one. here comes Hacker to the goal, got around the defender, missed the shot, good enough wall off there by Edwards, now the Dolphins running down by four, late in the first half, beautiful, in transition, right to left bounce pass to Graham, who has 7-5 this quarter, we're ripping and running here, two-point EKU lead. You can see what kind of player Baston is in that open floor, you give her some daylight, she's going to, she's going to punish you. Fox, Mackins, two fouls. Reconati on the bench, who runs the point. Nice give by Hacker to avoid the charge, and Fox had a wide open 10 footer. But the junior from Altoona, Pennsylvania, couldn't find it. Chance to tie or go ahead for the Dolphins. Up as many as eight, down as many as seven. Eastern showing a little matchup right here. Fast into the baseline, threw it through the lane. But her teammate was turned the other way. Edwards, and then it turned into a tie-up. And the possession arrow will give another chance to the Dolphins. 12 in the shot clock. Three minutes first half. A stewed time affair. This game originally scheduled to go on Thursday night. But illness in the program for Jacksonville. They delayed it till today. Jacksonville flies out tonight out of Louisville. EKU. An overnight departure for the airport in northern Kentucky, the Cincinnati airport, to head to Fort Myers. They'll play a couple down in Florida this week as well. So all teams headed to the sun. Nice trap there by the Colonels. Hacker and Lacey got Baston right there in the corner after she came in from the uh, trigger position. And uh, she had to bounce it off the leg. And to Gillard, Gilliard. And... Bailed out with a foul. Well, this is going to be a big call right here. If this is Reganati, that would be her third. Called the foul instead on Hacker, so her second. He's been developing some foul trouble right now. and Like we talked about, short bench. Hacker, Reganati, Mackins all with two fouls. 252 to halftime. Shot clock recoils to 20. Well, the inbounds to Bastin, who has eight, looking for double figures. Set it to the corner to... Graham, their leading three-point shooter, but couldn't get the last two to fall. Now this is Jackson, and they got a tie-up. Possession arrow's busy over there. 
here in quarter two. We were 20-20 at the end of one with 32-30. He's the Kentucky Sorry, 239 to go in the first half. Well, Jackson caught it and tried to make a move there on the post. Great collapsing defense by Walker to tie that ball up. 53% shooting EKU first quarter, 40% second. 60% Jacksonville first quarter, 33% second quarter. Lacey, corner, Racanati. Got to play smart with two fouls. They got three players with two fouls in the game right now, up by two. So Greg Todd at the basketball coaching gambling table. Here's Walker. That's her spot, but not today. Boy, Hacker went in there and tried to get a rebound dangerously. Walker sitting at just six points today and two of five from the field. Walker came in a big-time score, number 10 in the country at 21.7, but it's been the 13 of Rainey. Speaking of 13, 13 in green here, Gilliard. Six of the shot clock. Have to let it fly for the lead. Will not fall, but gets her own miss in Graham. Graham today now one of five from three. If you're a guard for Eastern, you have got to go in there and help clean up those long rebounds. Nine on the shot clock. Another chance to tie or go ahead. Deep three. Another miss. Another offensive rebound. Off the miss by Dunlap for Baston. Stripped but a block, so the strip by Lacey, but Hacker trying to get the block inside the restricted area, and a third foul on the starter here, and she'll be replaced by Rainey, they gambled, and one of the three with two fouls goes to the bench with their third in Hacker here. Well, that's the fourth team foul on the Colonels. Dolphins with only one this quarter. And they've got, some guy, they've got some girls that can really shoot the free throw as well. You know, that ball, I think Greg Todd may be making the argument to one of the officials that that ball had already been stripped. It shouldn't have been a charge, but that's the way the call was made. Bobby Ray, Thurman Legs, and Judith Diehouse stripes and whistles today. Both foul shots good. And we are back even after EKU had gone from eight down to seven up. And our fifth tie, minute 13, first half, one lead switch. Baseline left, Lacey. Nice movement of the ball, outright Mackins, another miss. Both teams cold this quarter after a hot first quarter. Reconati off the hip, offensive rebound, got it back. Mackins will try it again. Second chance, second miss. Stolen rebound offensively by Lacey. Corner, Lacey, another miss. Boy, EKU. Started out so hot. First quarter, they were four of eight. And there, it goes down for Calissa Lacey. She's out of three at each quarter. As we near the half hit a mark of the first half, 35-32 EKU. I can't believe Rainey passed up that wide open three. And then later she got it. And she was the assist girl on the uh, shot by Lacey out of the corner. EKU, 10 assists on their 13 makes. Jacksonville, nine on their 13 makes. Sharing the leather for your sister today. Nice pass into the lane. Baston, nothing there. Find Brown in the corner. Won't go with seven to go. Offensive rebound. Baston put back, no. And the outlet at the end of the first half to avoid another offense. Darnell Haney coaching against EKU graduate Greg Todd here today. Second half takeout for the green and white for the Dolphins. They on the year are eight and eight, two and four in the A set. Tough away from home, one and seven, seven and one at home. And it looks like we had a clock problem. They didn't get the shot clock started. Eastern Kentucky entering just a little bit better with the record, 11 and eight. They played three more games. They're four and two, flipped the script on the A-Sun. Nine and one at home, last loss November 7th against Evansville. Trying to get to 10 in a row at home for the first time since 2005. Eastern showing man to man to start off. Let's see what kind of attack Jacksonville uses. This is Graham leading three point maker. Just one slides to a stop and banked it in to bring it within one. Good job kind of freezing the defense there before she shot. Walker hesitated just a little bit enough to open up that shot. Graham averages 12, has nine. Big three zone by Jacksonville. They're staying right with it. Mackins with two fouls. 
Walker kind of running that high post there and then makes a nice dive to the basket. Start Kirkwood's second half. Ari Kirkwood. This is Racconati with those four assists. Another no-looker. Oh, beautiful pass. She got a block left to Walker. And Walker on a beautiful bounce to Kirkwood. Knifing to the goal for first two. Back up by three goes the home team. Real alert cut there by Kirkwood. She saw that opening in the zone. Second minute of the third quarter for Graham. Ball in her hands a lot today. Bounce to the baseline to Jackson. Second leading score, but leading score in a on play, and they sold the charge. Kirkwood took the flop for the call. Jackson, real effective on that low post. She's got clever moves, and she made a real nice spin move. Kirkwood right there anticipated that and was able to draw the charge. First foul on Jackson. Good face-up game for her. Mackins, Walker. Oh, that's Rainey. Now Walker. Mackins, good luck at a three. Set the toes, let it fire. Hadn't been a good day late for Mackins after a good start. Hit her first two. Mr. Last four, now two of six. EKU, seven of 18. They were 50% in the first quarter. Four of eight, three of nine in the second quarter. Jacksonville, one of 10 on three second quarter. Gorin inside, powering up, missing it. But Edwards drew the foul. Who'd they get it on this time? Gonna call it. On Antoinette Walker, her first Antoinette Walker out of Lyle, Illinois. Played at Marquette and Little Rock before coming to EKU. Well, Edwards is a real physical player. She made a real nice duck in to get that ball and then went to the rim strong. This foul shot good for Edwards, her first point of the day. She's not a great free throw shooter. 42.9 coming into this game. Check that. Her third point of the day. Didn't have one field goal first half. Got them both. She looked good on those two, though. Jacksonville 2-2-1 again. Her aunt played at Pepperdine in Texas Tech two years in Slovakia. 37-36. EKU by one. Biggest lead seven. Biggest deficit eight. Mackens penetrates. Good bounce low. Kirkwood threw it away again, but got it back. So it yo-yoed right back to her to avoid the turnover. Now Mackens. That zone stretches out for Jacksonville, and Reconati looks for a crack. Reconati not known for her three-point shooter. They can kind of back off on her. And yeah, she forced one up there right of the lane. No good. East of Kentucky, one of four, and one of one shooting for Jacksonville here in this quarter, and another chance for the Dolphins to retake the lead. We've had five ties, just one lead switch. Jacksonville went up 11-3, to three, and then a 27-12 run by... EKU to go up 30-23, but now JSU on the run, but they travel as Baston tried to come to a stop, and her foot slid, and it's a turnover. Yeah, good collapsing defense right here by Eastern. Rainey got hung up on the screen, but Reganati showed some help from the corner and uh, kind of rushed past it just enough to cause that turnover. Turnover for the Dina Belgium product. Graduate student, played four years at Wichita State. Big transfer portal pickup as a grad transfer. Mackin's going to try it again. Mackin's going to miss it again. She's missed her last five after hitting her first two. Eastern yeah, Kentucky hustle. had a great start to this game, Doug, from three, four of eight. But since then, they have been three of 11. Yeah, great hustle by Rainey right there. Going after that loose ball. She might have been a hurdler in high school because she cleared the bench. Thought she was in trouble there when she left the floor. This is her seventh year in college basketball. Graduated with a degree in sociology from the University of Florida in May of 2020, then went to Eastern Michigan. Had a big first half with 13 points and four rebounds. Eastern in a zone as well. Edwards to the lane and they threw it away. Across the lane, trying to feed it. Low block right to Jackson. So the EKU defense discombobulating JU for a bit. Just a moment on the court for Kara Freeman. But Mackins right back in for her, playing with Rainey Reconati Kirkwood. Hacker with three fouls stays on the bench. Here's Walker. Been in double figures 17 games in a row, but sits at just six, along with five rebounds today. Jacksonville hangs in that 2 3 zone. 
Rainey passes up a three, gets it back. Eight on the shot clock. Now Walker. There's Kirkwood. Miss. Rebound by the leading rebounder on the team. Put back no good. Walker shall go to the line. Second in rebounding in the A-Sun, 23rd of the country. First in the A-Sun, 10th from the country in points. There's the offensive rebounder. Rakanati kept it alive. Yeah, and a good rebounder will know when that ball shot out of the corner, about 80% of the time it's going to kick off from the far side. And Rakanati did a good job keeping that ball alive, like you said, Greg. And Walker cleaned up the loose ball and is able to get to the line. Second foul on Jackson. Rainey hits. Or I should say Walker hits. All three of the foul shots today have been taken by Walker for EKU. Eight points now collected for Walker. Again, 17 straight double-figure scoring games. Three straight double-double games. Walker has five rebounds, eight points today. And a long way to go with her team by three. As we go under these six minutes in the third. Chance to tie, will not fall out of the corner on the miss by Edwards. See who they give this out to. Last touch by a Colonel trying to go for a defensive board. Great ball movement by Jackson. They'll find the shooter in the corner. Edwards got a pretty good look at it. She only shoots 26% from the three-point line, though. And back to Brown, eight rebounds, six points in the first half. She's been their go-to person. Downloaded Jackson, their 6-1 forward. Now the shooter in the corner to tie it in. After missing a bunch in a row, Shari Graham gets her second of the day at a team leading 30th, and she's to double figures. And it is tied at 39, or sixth tie. Well, if you notice, they set a really good weak side screen right there to open up that shooter. Baseline, count it for Walker. Good high-low action there. Walker is working that seam, and she can find other players because the defense is so... Uh, concerned with collapsing on her. 18th double-figure game in a row for Walker. Good feed low. Curdles collapsed on the driver, Baston, who's had a huge game, and we're tied at 41. Underneath five minutes, third quarter. Deep three. No good Rainey. Long-kicking rebound, Kirkwood back to Rainey. Will she try it again? No, record on it. Walker. Walker seeing space in the lane, turning over Baston, missed it. Good flying rebound by Kirkwood offensively, reset. High to 41, Rainey for the lead. Yes. Nice find by Reganati and a good job by Kirkwood to hunt down that loose ball right there off the miss. Rainey now 6 of 10 from the field, 4 of 8 from 3. Game high, 16 points and 4 rebounds. Walker has 5 rebounds. Five assists for Racconati today. Drive around Freeman, who's come in defensively. Another shooter left side was found. And Graham, who hit one earlier, missed that one. And the ball goes out of bounds. Baston to trigger. She's had the big day for the Dolphins. Along with Graham, Baston, eight points, eight rebounds, four assists. And three turnovers. 12 for Graham, a 5 of 12 shooting. She's got the orange leather. Almost dribbled it off her leg, but... Went to the left side, and the three good by Edwards. Well, she's making a liner out of the statistics there. Not a great record coming in from the three-point line. She's knocked a couple down. Jacksonville bringing their middle girl up all the way to the free throw line to cover Walker when she comes to the high post now. Eight ties in a game, not at a Hank Aaron apiece. 44-44 for all you Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves fans. There's the reach in on the player that just hit the three, Edwards, with the foul. Now, Edwards, you talked about, not a great three-point shooter. That was her first of the game, Doug. She's one of three from three. I'm sorry. I I must have mistaken someone else hitting a three there. Yeah, it was Edwards out of the corner. It's one of five on the day. Well, the second time that Kirkwood's made a nice cut through the middle of the zone to get to the uh, basket. Yeah, Kirkwood's given them good energy with Hacker on the bench with 3,000. Just as I say that, Greg Todd, Todd calls Hacker to the scoring table after Kirkwood puts him in. So Ari Kirkwood out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, played at Moorhead State, played some volleyball and track earlier in her 
career. OBC Defensive Player of the Year back when she was at Moorhead State. Eastern see, Kentucky uh, from the foul line, six of six today. You'll see Coach Todd substitute offense, defense, anytime during the game. And Freeman has been coming in just on defensive possessions. Mackin's back in there now, but they've also got Freeman in. She's over on her best player. Good inside to the big 6'6 player blocked by Hacker, who had her hands up vertically as they bought Benny Lindu in out of Kadasha in the Congo. Green Force Christian Academy played a year two years ago at Coastal Carolina, just six games. Congo, the Central African country on the western coast of the continent. Into Jackson. Now they'll real tool it up high to Dunlap, who's returned. Two on the shot clock. Deep three. Count it. That was almost on the beach. Where Jalissa Dunlap, her second three of the day, 20 of, of the season. And we have just our second lead switch of the day to go along with eight times. Last time they were ahead, they were up 11 to three. And after it was tied at 15 and 18, Eastern Kentucky sped away. Now the Colonels retake the lead on back-to-back -back scores. Walker playing really unselfish there and Hacker with a good cut. Eastern doing a good job moving away from the ball to find openings. Yeah, Walker's been an assist person. For the lead, three leads in a row out of the left side corner by Dunlap again. She's hit two in a row. A Sun freshman team last year. 50-48 Dolphins and the Colonels in transition throw it away. How about that, Doug? Had only one lead switch all game and on three straight possessions. Two makes by Jacksonville and one by EKU. Colonels couldn't make it four in a row. They throw it away for turnover number eight. And just their first of this half. Underneath two minutes we go. In an eight tie for lead switch game, the Dolphins by Two and it'll stay that way. Curling to the elbow and missing is Dunlap. Hacker rebound, Reconati pushes it to Freeman. And away from the ball, trying to keep Walker from posting up the push called on Shania Jackson, the East Tennessee State transfer. Freeman out. Back in for her is Calissa Lacey with a pair of threes in the first half. There's the, there's the gamble of doing a lot of defense offensive substitutions when it's not at the end of the game when you you have a defensive sub in but then you get a stop and now you don't have your offensive person back in but on the foul you do walker trying to back down against edwards turn through the foul to the line she'll go or they call a, a walk yeah walker pitter pattered the feet for the turnover they've done a good job on the leading score in the a Sun Walker, just three of seven today from the field, four of four from the foul line, five rebounds, three assists, two steals, and that's her second turnover. Well, Edwards did a really good job bodying up on Walker right there and kind of creating a situation where Walker forced the action. Walker has not come out of the game today. Mackins is left. Kirkwood back in. She plays defense on Jackson to the corner and the second three of the game for Michaela Edwards and they've come here in the third quarter and the Dolphins have come from seven down when they were down 30 to 23 to lead it 53 to 48 and they forced another turnover by EKU. Colonel's falling apart here in the latter part of the third quarter in their offensive ball handling. And this is fast and had scored this half but a char no blocking foul. Blocking foul before the shot was put in. They called it on either Hacker or Reconati. It's going to be on Reconati. And that's the third foul of the point guard with 47 seconds to go in the third quarter. Bastion can't get out of control sometimes. Eastern, I know, is cognizant of that fact. And they were trying to get the charging foul right there. Foul trouble mounting for the Colonels. 30 to 18 run by Jacksonville after EKU won a 27-12 run, and there's a charge. Hacker got beat as the driver spun around her, but there to save the day was Reconati giving up her body to take the charge. And the foul called on Jackson. That was a big call right there. Jackson now, I think, with four fouls. 
and uh, she'll have to go to the bench. Yeah, she picked up two in the first half, two in this quarter. Yeah, that call was either way. If, if uh, Reagan Honey would have got it, that would have been her fourth. So Eastern got the benefit right there. Jackson has fouled out of the team high two games this year. It's under 44 seconds left in the third quarter. They went to the monitor. Obviously, Reconati well out of the cylinder. Fourth foul, a tough loss. Shania Jackson, she'll have to go to the bench for head coach Darnell Haiti. His team up by five on a 30 to 18 run. Hacker wide open at the foul line. They slough off her and she doesn't make them pick. Well, that's the opening in that zone. Walker out of the game, getting a little break and Hacker has been the player they put up there at the high post. EKU four of 11 this quarter. Another wide open three point shooter. Eastern Kentucky's defense being exposed by three point shooting wide open. No defense threes. Biggest lead of the day for the second time at eight for a beautiful pass on the baseline drive by Hacker just ahead of the end of the third quarter to Calissa Laysonville. 24-15 in the third quarter, and it was 24-13 before a bucket right before the buzzer. EKU take out down six in their home court, trying to extend their home court winning streak to 10, the longest in 18 years. But Jacksonville tried to do something about it. They're two and four in the A Sun. Eastern Kentucky four and two. But they have not been tested by anybody in the top half of the A Sun yet. Here's Lacey trying to find her third three of the day, and it wouldn't go. And we have an offensive, no defensive rebound. Again, they are without Shania Jackson, her fourth foul coming in the last minute of quarter number three. How long does head coach Darnell Haney? keep her on the bench after Dunlap picked up her second foul. Well, you saw in the replay there, Dunlap and Hacker got tangled up. Walker driving in and going to the line again as she's fouled. Antoinette Walker, players call her Mari, her nickname. She's had her 18th double figure game in a row as you see the foul there and she's had to do it from the line, Doug, as she's hit three field goals and four for four from the line. They've done a great job on her, limiting her touches. And uh, when she's got the ball, she's had to create her own offense. Star scores make sure they help themselves from the foul line, and she does. Five for five today, 75% of the year. Just 69% of her three college career. But she has been perfect today, six for six, and has a dozen. Lacey and Mackins will leave. Freeman and Kirkwood come back in. As they go shift change, and here comes Racconati as well. Greg Todd will have that substitution merry-go-round spinning here in the last 10. Racer showing a little pressure full court. They've got to get Jacksonville out of their rhythm. Jacksonville had a great shooting third quarter. Six out of eight from the three-point line. Just turned this game around. Shot 67% or 60% first quarter, 25% second. And Doug told you about the third. EKU, 53% first quarter, 33 second, 42 third. They brought Brown back in, wearing two. There's Bastion who stirs it. Back to Brown, she couldn't hit the three, and we got an offensive, defensive push off. On Eastern Kentucky, it's on Freeman, the 5'6 sophomore from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Freeman. In there for defense, but on the offensive rebound opportunity for Jacksonville, just got caught holding, and Macklin will be come back, coming back in for uh, the Colonels. Macklin had a good start to this game from deep with a pair of first quarter threes. Since then, she's missed five in a row. 16 points, Rainey, 12 Walker on the other side, 15 Graham, 11 Dunlap, at eight each for Baston and Edwards. And Baston has nine rebounds. Their leading rebounder on the year at seven and a half. Kirkwood's defense of the inbounds good. We'll try it again for Baston. Eastern switching the screens here on the inbounds. 56-52 Dolphins. 
looping pass near backcourt, but in forecourt Edwards. Now Graham, who had two threes in the third quarter, had eight in the quarter, three threes on the day. Walker and Mackin switch defensively. Brown. There's Edwards who hit two threes. Couldn't get this one to go. Good block out and then down on the court to keep it alive and avoid an offensive rebound. That was good hustle, Kirkwood. Thread the needle to Mackins. Assist by Reconati, number one in the A Sun. And Mackins, after missing five in a row, makes it a one point game. The Colonels needed that, and Mackins needed that. Maybe that'll get her going. Fell down by eight. They've scored seven in a row. And the large school crowd here on this noon tip-off making some noise. Nearing the eight-minute mark. Easton kind of matching up out of that two-three zone. Graham drives on Mackin and misses the layup. Battle for the rebound. Pulled down Edwards. Back up good. Yeah, she is so physical and really active. Anticipates the ball coming off that rim really Transfer well. Sorry, Doug, transfer from Hawaii. Mackins in rhythm, no good. Rebound, Kirkwood digging it out. Reconati. Rainey, who started hot, missed that one. Rebound, Kirkwood. Mackin. Back, Kirkwood, baseline, traveled with the basketball. So they closed out on her, and that is turnover number 11 on EKU. Kirkwood's been real active on the offensive glass. Got the ball right there on the wing, just... Drug the pivot foot when she had the baseline closed off. Eastern with a little bit more pressure here, trying to get this tempo up. 58-55 Dolphins, 7 to 41 to go. Points off turnovers, 12 for advantage for Jacksonville. Points in the paint, 10 point advantage. Near walk there and hesitation pulling up the dribble, but they got it to four court. And Jackson back in at the seven and a half minute mark with four fouls. Reconati tipped it away, almost went for it again, but Graham got it back. Reconati stole it again, but they got it back. Boy, Reconati's hands active. Four on the shot clock, shot blocked by Rainey. Reconati's defense tremendous on that possession. Off to Kirkwood and another Reconati give. Boy, great patience by Reconati. She saw the defense had closed in on her. She didn't have a path to the basket, but she waited on the offensive cut there. Kirkwood again making a nice dive to the basket. Six for Kirkwood down to a one-point game again. J.U. by one. They get around Freeman. Skip it to the left corner to Dunlap, and she traveled with the basketball. Mackin coming back in for EKU. Marissa Mackins. Out of Durham, North Carolina, played at North Florida. Ace on all conference first team back in 2021. The Big Five Rookie of the Year at Temple 2019. Eastern's hit nine threes. So has Jacksonville. EKU's taken three more. Chance to retake the lead. Rainey. Top of the zone to Kirkwood. 15 to shoot. 2-3 zone, Mackins makes some pay. Well, Eastern overloaded that zone right there. Had four players on the strong side. Kept moving the ball until they got an opening. Mackins is heating up a little bit. Turned this tide in favor of the Colonels. 10-2 run here. At the end of the first half, 12-2 run at the end of the third quarter. And the start of the second has been a of the uh, fourth quarter has been a 10-2 run, 12-2 overall, and our fifth lead switch. We've had eight ties and a foul closing out. Kirkwood tried to deny either a shot or pass by Shania Jackson, the East Tennessee State transfer. She was on an AAU national championship team, as you see the foul there by Kirkwood, slapping her hands together. That is 2,000 EKU, two on the Dolphins. Possession arrow to Jacksonville. They're down two with 5.51 to go, and two tosses coming for Shania Jackson, an 87% foul shooter, one of two today. Hacker back in for Kirkwood. That could be another offensive defensive substitution. Kirkwood's really been active today, and I think provided a spark for the Colonels. Recadani with seven assists, yeah. 
She had trouble with her ball handling in the first half. Her defense, along with Rakanadis, has been solid here in the second half. First foul shot good. This one could tie it again. And going back to Perkwood, I've been impressed with the way she's moved without the ball. Second one, no good. 60-59, Eastern Kentucky. And they turn it over in transition. 12 turnovers today. Jacksonville has forced 10. Five-point points off turnovers advantage, but they're down one. The Dolphins try to get a win on the road. They've only done it once this year. Eastern's only lost once on their home court. And the lead on the baseline runner. 61-60, Dolphins. Not a good close out there by Eastern. And Dunlap made them pay. She has 11. That's her first non-three-pointer. Got it inside of the player. They want Walker on the block right. And it fell off the rim no good, but she drew the foul, and she'll go for tosses 7-8 and eight at the line on that foul there by Baston. Well, Eastern went into a 1-4 high set, and when they entered the ball to Hacker, Walker made a diagonal cut to the basket and got the opportunity here to get two more free throws. Six lead switches. Walker going to the line to tie, to tie it for the ninth time and switch the lead for the seventh. She's been perfect today, eight for eight. As a team, Walker's hit six of six, Kirkwood's hit two. Here's Walker. Left it short. It's a little tougher when you get tired, Doug. Yeah, she's played a lot of minutes today. 34, exactly. And come out of the game. One more for Antoinette Walker. Rakadani's a workhorse, too. She's seven of eight. She has 13. We are tied at 61. We're almost at Social Security eligibility on the scoreboard. <laughs> Says two old guys sitting courtside with you. Well, I was a teacher. I didn't have to, I paid into it, but I'm not going to get anything. Five minutes to go. One-eighth of the game in regulation. And the Eastern Kentucky zone is active. Dunlap, corner, Reconati all over. Feet into the lane, tipped away by Hacker. Great defense, but Reconati going to the corners. The ball, Skinner. Kentucky was down 11-3, went on a 27-12 run, built a seven-point lead. Jacksonville went on a 33-18 run, built an eight-point lead. EKU 12 of the next 14, the lead by two. It's tied at 61, and on the inbounds, a missed shot by Edwards, but another offensive rebound. And a one rebound advantage for JU today. They've done a better job of the offensive glass. Nine on the shot clock for Baston. And scored since the first half. Since the first quarter. Deep three, air ball. Shot clock violation. And will go EKU's way tied at 61 as that offensive substitution. Mackens coming back in for a hacker. Well, that could have been a fifth foul right there on Jackson coming over the back. That was a big no-call. Big-time no-call because she was totally over the back of an EKU player. But they gave the shot clock violation right after she slammed over the curdle. 61 all in a game of spurts. Who has the best spurt near the end when the game is on the line? Rakanati has been a seamstress today to Walker. That's her sweet spot. Straight away from 15 for a two-point lead, and she's at 15. And she worked that high post again. Jackson backed off of her, and she made him pay. Sixth lead switch of the game. We've had nine not-ups of the score. Underneath four minutes. 45% shooting for both teams today. EKU's hit one last through field goal, but one more three. Spin to the lane, Baston. Found their shooter, but it wouldn't go this time for Graham. And a foul on offense. Well, there it is. Jackson again over the back, and that's going to put her on the bench with five fouls. At 3.35, her third disqualification of the year to lead the team in a category you don't want to lead on. Here it is. Uh, Walker did a good job blocking out. And uh, Jackson just over aggressive, especially with four fouls there. You would think she would just back off in that situation. 16 points rainy on four of nine for three, six of 11 
from the field over all five rebounds. Walker with 15 points and seven rebounds. He's gone to her 18th straight double figure game in points. Can she get to her fourth straight double double at the 12th of the year? EKU the ball up by two. Racconati has had a good assist game. Coming to the left with seven to shoot to Rainey. Rainey, Walker, 17 footer. Splash. Kind of a little pick and pop action right there against the zone. You don't see that very often. The Walker just slid right into the open spot and Rainey came off the screen. That was a great finish in a late shot clock situation. EKU is down 56 48. They're up 65 61. They got it inside to the big girl and Benny Lindu, who had only played 32 minutes before she played 18 at Bellarmine the other night, scores. And it's a two point game with two and a half to go. EKU the ball up by two. Racconati, low to Walker. They've gone to their star and she's delivered three times in a row. Great left hand finish over Sai. She just shot over a 6 6 girl. Baston. Skip pass right side, driving in Dunlap, putting it up, no. Rebound by Eastern Kentucky's reigning, and players tumbling together. Great hustle by Baston, but she fouled her. No way. Did they call that on? I think they may have called it on Lindu instead. If I read the numbers right, they did. Yeah, great block out. Turkwood's really done a good job being active on the glass, and I thought she was played some really good minutes. For Eastern today. A 17 to 5 run by EKU after they fell down for the second time today by eight. They had a 27 12 run when they were down 11 3 early. Here's Kirkwood. They really count now. One point on the board for Kirkwood, who, as Doug had said earlier, has had a huge defensive game here in the second half. And she's up to eight points on the day. She leads the Colonels in uh, rebounds with 5.6 and only plays 20 minutes a game. Three for three from the foul line. Now up to eight points, four for four. How about EKU's foul shooting? 11 of 12 today, 91.7. They're the best foul shooting team in the A-Sun and 34th in the country. At almost 77%, they lead by six on a huge run here from eight down. 2.04 to go in Richmond. Houston went to a little 1 2 2 half court right there. Jacksonville had no trouble, but they're eating up some clock with the defensive switches. Baston. Bank shot. Oh, it was down on the well and came out. Tough luck for the Dolphins. And Mackin makes a Joe Burrow pass. Hot by Kirkwood and in. At Eastern Kentucky. They're showing a little 1-2-2. Two, two. Picking up their pickup points just a little past midcourt. It's more of a three-quarter. But uh, they're more concerned right now with making Jacksonville eat that clock up as they try to attack it. Colonels were down 61-60. They've scored 11 of the last 13. And their defense extending as they brought Rainey back in. Into the lane. A bounce to the block low to Edwards. Time wasting. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Down the lane on a running flyer and it's good. And boy, did they need that from Gilliard, who had been brought in. A minute and 40 second dry spell for the Dolphins there, except for one field goal. Jacksonville turning up the heat right here. And East is going to have to take care of the basketball and knock some free throws down. This thing's not over yet. Reconati, a dangerous pass baseline, but Mackin's got it and they get it to forecourt. And again, the number one foul shooting team, top 40 in the country at EKU, and 11 of 12 today. And JU not fouling here. Now you don't want to. 10 on the shot clock. Walker, Mackins for a nail in the coffin shot. No. Offensive rebound by Hacker, and she's fouled. Great job by Hacker. They're just going for the rebound there, but not fouling, not going over the back. Used her size and reach to get her hands on the ball. And she's going to go to the free throw line. Hacker's a 81.6% shooter from the free throw line coming into today's game. And she nestles it in. Hacker with three today. Eastern Kentucky 
doing it with seven of 11 shooting from the field in this quarter. She's up to, to a three possession game. And that's significant. Kirkwood back in for defense for Hacker. Got them both. 73-65 Eastern Kentucky. Jacksonville's got to get some quick possessions here. They've got to attack the rim. They do right here. And Basta gets her first field goal since she scored six in the first quarter. She has eight. They get another quick. This is just my person. I hate it in the NBA. Artificial movement of the basketball after you hit a shot with two seconds to go. Mackins in a double team. And, boy, she was almost ready to dribble that off her leg. And they grabbed her and fouled her. So they foul Mackins. Here's where her numbers from the foul line this year, 76.7. Yeah, Same thing in her career. Real good numbers, but Eastern took a gamble by throwing that ball into the worst possible place you could yep. throw it in that coffin corner where the sideline and the midcourt line acts as two extra defenders. 40 seconds left, EKU by six. Decisive 11-2 run when they were down one with just over five minutes to go. Mackins hits at EKU has been win a teddy bear at the Kelly Fair from the line today. They're 14 of 15. Again, that goes to a three possession game. Got a both. Mackins had a good game, hit four threes today and 14 points. Hit the side of the backboard, rebound by Walker. How about Walker? Eight rebounds, 19 points. 16 points rainy she was hot early six rebounds four assists 14 points for mackins on four of 11 shooting 10 points for kirkwood and six rebounds i mean this has been a team effort for greg todd's hurdles today with four and double figures four and double digits for the dolphins as well 15 points graham 13 dunlap 10 each baston and edwards and Mackins has got it up to a nine-point game, highest of the day. Eastern sure capitalized on the free throw line today, no doubt. And uh, getting back to Walker, that's one, some of the quietest 19 points that you'll see. She's done a really nice job the second half of getting herself open in that zone. Sometimes you got to name a player of the game, but it will be Antoinette Walker because when the game was on the line and the Kirtles were down one, she scored on three straight possessions. She ends with a game high 19 today. She only had six at halftime. But everybody else has been productive today. This has been a team win for Greg Todd's team, and they lead 77 67. Keep in mind, they were down 61 60. They were down 56 48 in this game. Three out of the corner, we're not done yet with 17 and a half to go on the three, the fourth of the day for Dunlap. These two teams have shot the three pretty well, both in the upper 30s. Jacksonville down, down now 10 of 27. Eastern Kentucky, 10 of 28. They're like identical twins from three today. So where has this game been won? Because points in the paint, Jacksonville by 10. Points off turnovers, Jacksonville by five. How did EKU sit seven up on the board? I foul think, shot it, foul shooting one thing. Yeah, for sure. And I think they've done a better job attacking the zone the second half. They've had better ball movement, and they've used various formations and forms of attack to get those shots. And uh, like you said, Greg, when they've got to the free throw line, they're knocking them down. Freeman got it. They are 19 of 20, 95% for the number one team in the A-Sun. Long, deep three, that'll do it. Graham missed it. And Eastern Kentucky will get the victory. Shooting extremely well from the foul line, the best of the year.